No character is safe in Poppy Playtime, and even those dearly beloved by fans eventually have to meet their end. These are the most gruesome confirmed deaths of every single Poppy Playtime toy. The first toy death we witnessed in Chapter 1 is Huggy Wuggies. He was also the first toy to give us a legendary jump scare where he suddenly appeared behind a door. It was a heart-racing chase through the vents that seemed to never end. But just before Huggy's arms could deliver an agonizing hug, you notice a trap box right above his head. One pull of the box and the bridge luckily breaks, plummeting Huggy Wuggy to his death. Now Chapter 3 revealed the new smiling critter Catnap, who reveres the prototype as his superior. But this game of course never fails to bring terror, because of all the toy's deaths, Catnap's was the most twisted. As we're struggling to figure out a way to regenerate the power, Catnap crawls his way down to terrorize us, but an electrocution of the green hand is enough to put him down. With a terrorizing scream, Catnap bursts into flames. But just when we thought Catnap was on his last legs, the prototype reveals himself. Except he didn't appear to save Catnap, but deliver the finishing blow. One swift move and the prototype's slender hands pierced Catnap's head, granting him a quick death. It was either to end his suffering or the prototype simply wanted to add Catnap's part to his collection. Regardless, Catnap showed that he was willing to die for his master until the very end. A not so delightful death awaits this next toy with a bloody face and smile. As we continue to barge into rooms in search of an exit, we are met with Miss Delight, an apex predator that you literally can't take your eyes off of. As we finally manage to power the generator, Miss Delight sabotages our escape. We are immediately forced to run through various hallways as the sound of footsteps gets closer and closer. Following our trail is Miss Delight, ready to bludgeon us with Barb. But before she could even try, the player triggered the switch to close the door, smashing the toy before she could even enter the room. The last toy to die before the end of Chapter 2 is the stretchy Mommy Longlegs. Mommy Longlegs offered us the train code in exchange for completing a set of games. She also promised us that when it was done, she would allow us to leave unharmed. Unfortunately for us, she jumps down the ceiling to accuse us of cheating. Now Mommy Longlegs won't let us go easily, and invites us to her last twisted game, Hide and Seek. From then on, she hunts us down creepily like a giant spider accompanied by her creepy laughs. With only a few feet separating us, Mommy Longlegs gets her hand caught into a grinding machine. Despite her best efforts, Mommy Longlegs cannot escape, and the machine slowly grinds her body apart. The machine continued to eat her away, until all that was left was her lifeless head. Musical Memory is one of the games we had to play hosted by Bunzo Bunny. If we win, we won't be killed. But what we didn't know is that we weren't the only ones playing. While it's true that if we won, Bunzo wouldn't kill us, Bunzo would actually be the one to die should he fail this part. The moment after leaving the game, we can hear the screams of Bunzo Bunny being killed by Mommy Longlegs. Once we exited musical memory, the ceiling web that was empty earlier now hangs the corpse of poor Bunzo. But this wasn't the only time we saw a Bunzo toy being killed. Catnap also killed a separate Bunzo Bunny doll while we were in the counselor's office. Catnap seemingly kills this Bunzo for no reason. Maybe Catnap was hungry at the time, or maybe he was looking for new toys to add to his shrine. It's also possible that Catnap went to capture this Bunzo Bunny after taking direct orders from the prototype. Wacka Wuggy was also another game that Mommy Longlegs wanted us to play. After winning the game, the mini Huggies were subject to the same fate as the Bunzo from Musical Memory. You can hear their screams as you exit from the room, and similar to Bunzo, she would hang their corpse to the ceiling. Dog Day wasn't exactly dead when we found him hanging in a cage. His body was cut in half, which we assumed to have been eaten or torn away by the other toys. Despite being in an almost lifeless state, he still tried to warn us about the dangers of the place. But before he could finish, the mini critters creeped into his body and completely took him over. Mustering up whatever consciousness he had left, he instructed us to run. His voice echoed as we escaped, and the last thing we know, he was now a fully possessed evil toy. Just when we thought Bunzo Bunny had died enough times, there was actually a third confirmed Bunzo death. This Bunzo appeared in a comic, where fans were able to choose how it ended. This Bunzo unfortunately fell into a hole while trying to retrieve an egg. He only had crayons on him, which he used to draw the very comic that we read. It's never directly stated, but the Bunzo from the comic was most likely taken by the prototype at the end. Right before Poppy's room, there are four dead toys. There are two Cat Bee toys, one Brawn toy, and one Boogie Bot toy. There is no such explanation as to why these dead toys were brutally hanged there, but whoever hanged them there must have their reasons. Why are they hanging right in front of Poppy's room? Did Mommy Longlegs put them there? We never know. Before Dog Day was attacked by the mini toys, he told us that he was the last smiling critter. 
but we don't really know if he was telling the truth. He might have just been saying that to protect the remaining critters because he knew someone was watching. The only clues to their deaths are through the smiling critter cardboard cutouts. What's interesting about these cutouts is that a majority of them end with a scream. Kikin Chicken was probably killed by someone he wanted to hang out with, someone very close to him and someone he trusted. Someone like Catnap. Hoppy Hopscotch might have fallen to her death trying to escape her now evil purple friend. And the most mysterious death of all critters was the death of Bubba Bubbafant. He seems to be killed by someone unfamiliar, so it probably wasn't Catnap but the prototype. Meanwhile, the scream we heard from Crafty Corn's cutout is unclear. Whether it was hers or another critter is still up for debate. Some people have theorized that the scream is actually Crafty's after being killed by Picky Piggy. But one thing is for sure, whoever owns the scream is already dead, and the culprit is still in the factory running free. Let me know in the comments what your favorite toy death is. Also, if there were any gruesome deaths we may have missed, let us know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more Poppy Playtime content.